Welcome back to the garage, everybody. So I have a little bit of a different project today. We're going to be making a diffuser for the V8 MR2. However, today we're going to be using some ABS plastic instead of metal with the ultimate goal of fitting a reverse light in the center of it. Let's get to work with a template. So I have a side vent. I'm going to call that a louver on either side. We're going to add more later because we still have to work on getting the reverse light mounted about there. We can see I had to make an access cut for where the transaxle comes through, which is no big deal because I believe I'm going to have a center section here that holds that reverse light. And moving for further back, this is one that's going to fall down on me. One tab to mount to the cross member with, as well as I have one up here and up here as well. So they're going to have four mounts to the cross member. So coming up on top, I've made these little drop brackets you can see kind of squeezing through there. So going to have four mounts to mount this thing along the top. It's pretty basic. Let's transfer this over to plastic. Alright, uh, here's my template better measured out now. So all my measurements are squared off. I've marked where I'm going to have tabs. And I'm going to be using the shiny side up on this, and the textured side will be at the bottom of the car. Now this stuff is only an eighth inch thick, which unfortunately I think at this point I probably should have gone a little bit stronger with it. Uh, but we'll just see how this progresses. So now that we have all this laid out properly, we can cut this out. And to do that, I'll just be using a circular saw. Now that the majority of this thing is cut out, I just made some holes in the middle of this thing. So we're going to cut that up with a jigsaw and just play connect the dots, as well as these inner corners in here just to make it easier. Alright, it's now time to start bending the louvers over on this thing, and no, it's not what it looks like. I'm not using the brake to actually fold the plastic, I'm using it as just a, a straight edge and a way to clamp it. So we are going to come in now with the heat gun, we're going to heat up that material and just going to let it fold over that square edge there. That's going to give us our brake. Alright, so I got both my sides bent on either end. Now it's time to turn our attention to these tabs. So there are three tabs, so there's two different bends. This one's going to have a 90 up and then another 90 backwards. This one's going to turn about 75 degrees up. And this one again, 90 degrees straight up and then another 90 backwards. So we're going to heat those up and get those bent now. Alright, so I've got my bends made. Let's now do this one compound bend. Just found it to be easier to get it off of that brake because it was hard to get out of there. 
So now we're going to use this setup. I have a one inch standoff here to help me guide where my brake's going to be. We're going to heat this up and fold it the opposite direction. Alright, we've got all of our bends made. Now it's time for our first test fit. Now we are bolted on for the first time, and I already found something I don't like. It come up from the higher view. I trimmed this on my cardboard version. I'm just going to trim those corners on either side. I wasn't real accurate with my cardboard version, so I just made it square. And underneath is looking good. So now we got to come through and we're going to back the cardboard template and make a center section to hold that reverse light. Alright, so here's a look at the template I came up with. So the reverse light is center mount, surrounded by I mean, more ABS plastic. So it has a one inch flange on either side. We're going to run rivets down and that should hold it. So now we're going to make that out of ABS plastic. Template for the center section has been copied over to the ABS plastic. I found that these paint pens worked a lot better on the back side of this instead of using tape. So now we're going to go ahead and cut this and make the folds as well. Alright, here we go again. Alright, I got this thing pretty well bent up the way I like it. Now we can throw that on that rear diffuser and see what we think. Alright, things are starting to come together. Reverse light's now mounted in that center piece. I've trimmed the angles on here to make that look better, which is coming along really good. And now we're going to come through and add another center louver between here and on that side. So back to templates. Alright, here is my template. So I've copied it to the ABS plastic again. I have a left and a right. And I've included this one inch bend flange, which we're going to use to mount this with rivets. So now we can cut this out again. I got both of these trimmed up and I got that one just set on the vise so we can heat treat it and bend it back over again. Alright, we've got all of our pieces made. Now it's time to get over to the rivets. These are M3.2 by 8 millimeter, and this will work just perfect for putting those two pieces of eighth inch together. So now we're going to go run these in. Now we've got everything riveted on. I've got the reverse light also riveted in there. I missed filming that. So we are good to go at this point. I'm going to just plug in that reverse light and see how. 